that was that where, where they were limited to go. Now the Holy Ghost empowered them to go beyond the threshold of right. their limits, their, right. their ability. Right. And they began to speak in tongues. And the Bible says every one that was there hear them speak in their own native the language. The wonderful works of God. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, when we, when we understand that as a believer, we are not only kept from doing evil, but we've been given an amazing ability to go beyond our limitations. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. To do what I ordinary couldn't do, brother. Amen. A young man trying to abstain from all of the, 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 the youthful lust, you know. And, and then the Holy Ghost come in and give you an ability that move you beyond what you ordinary could not do. Right, right, right. And the same thing happened to you and I, praise God. The Holy Ghost come in and give us an ability to move us beyond what we could not do, you know. Brother said last night, praise God, you used to be afraid to speak. We'd get in the room at 7 or 8 and wouldn't say nothing, but all of a sudden we become saved and sanctified and Holy Ghost filled. And we have an ability from right. God to stand up and speak for that Multitude. Mm -hmm. There was a time I read the book and it was like Greek. <laughs> Lord have mercy, couldn't understand nothing they were saying. Because I was limited. But when I got saved and sanctified and, and got some Holy Ghost in me, praise God, it began to open up my eyes and the Bible said that he's a teacher. Yeah. He will teach you the word of God. Right. The Bible says right. he's, a, he's an anointing that abides on the inside of us. Right. And we have no need that a man teach us right. because that anointing or that action that we receive of the Holy Ghost will right. teach us. Right. He, he, he helps us to go beyond our limitations. Yeah. At the Pentecost, they was those men could only speak in the Hebrew language. Right. But all of a sudden, when the Holy Ghost came in upon them and empowered them, he energized them, and, and they were able to speak language that, that they had never learned before. Ain't that something, praise God? And we're like, God don't do that now, praise God. We're like, the Holy Ghost don't do that now, praise God. But the Holy Ghost and God, praise God, and let me say it like this, the Bible said, Jesus Christ the same yesterday. Today in the Bible, and he what? Changed out. And he did it back in the day with a handful of missionaries. That was uneducated, praise God. He'll do the same thing today, praise God. He'll do the same thing, amen. We, we, we can't limit God, amen. Might limit ourselves, but we can't limit God. Oh, I tell you, praise God, when we wake up and understand and realize that we have been delivered from our own limitations, praise oh, yeah. God. We began to walk as giant, praise God. We began to walk as supernatural men, praise God. You understand what I'm saying, man? We began to, to open up and allow the Holy Ghost, praise God, to take us beyond our limitations. Oh, yeah. In my own self, I may not be able to help nobody, but if I, if I got out of myself, praise yeah. God, yeah. and allow the, the Holy Ghost to work in me, yeah. praise God, yeah. they're made of what you can do. Yeah. You might feel like, hey, man, I, I, I just I, I don't know how they're talking about with praise God. That, that's when God step in, amen. Yeah. Yeah. God is looking for those moments, amen. He's looking for those opportunities to use somebody. Yes. The Bible tells us in another place, amen, that was a man who was, who was blind from his from, from his birth. Yes. And they posed a question to Jesus. They said, Jesus, who sinned? Was it the man or the parent that, that, he, that he's like this? And Jesus said, neither. But that the power of God may be manifested. And sometimes God brings us into those situations or he brings us into those circumstances. Not because you did something wrong or somebody did something wrong. You but God just need an opportunity to express who he is and what he can do. That's what it's all about sometimes, praise God. God is somebody, amen. amen. Yeah. So every now and then, I, I like to, I, I, I kind of like to boast in his ability. Yeah. <laughs> when the devil is pounding on me, praise God. Hallelujah. Telling me, Carla, you ain't nothing but a failure, praise God. And you ain't going to do this yeah. and you ain't going to do that, praise yeah. God. I tell him, yeah, I got to agree with you now, devil. <laughs> I can't do nothing. Right. But I got to tell you the rest of that story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With God, I can do all things, praise God. That's what we got to be, praise God. That's what we got to stand, praise God. We've been delivered from limitations, ain't 
Ain't none of us in here weak. Praise God. Right. If we are in Christ. That's right. Ain't none of us in here got that I can't do it. That's right. If we are in Christ. Yeah. Because God has placed something on the inside of us yes. that is stronger than any opposition yes. that we may ever come up amen. against, praise God. Amen. It's called the power of the Holy Ghost, oh, amen. Yeah. It's a power that can't be defeated. Amen. It's a power that can't be that, that, that can't be subdued, praise right, God. Right. The Holy Ghost is mighty, praise God. Yes, Lord. He proved that down through the year. Right. So the Bible tells us, amen, don't walk after the flesh. Right. But God said, I want you to have a character that's like me, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, God, how can I be like that? The Bible said the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. It, it didn't say the fruit of the flesh. Uh, it didn't say the effort of the flesh. Uh, it didn't say, praise God, come, I want you to, I want you to have this. But it said that my spirit in you yeah. will produce this quality right. of life. Right. My, my spirit in you will enable you to, to possess and to imitate the character that, that I want my people right. to have, praise right. God. Right. So he said, now the fruit of the spirit is love and joy and peace, praise God. Right. And sometimes when I read the Bible, you know, and, I, and it, it amazed me as I see how the people behave back then. Yeah. For an example, amen, I began to look at the love that the early church had. Yes, yes. The Bible says, pray God that, that, that well, let me, let me slow down and go to go in that fourth chapter. Mm. Because this is, this, this is an amazing ability that the church had. Yeah. And sometimes today, pray God, we, we say that we've been, you know, we don't have to do this anymore. Mm. If we don't live saved, praise God, we got to have some help. That's right. And God has given us some help, amen. amen. It's called the Holy Ghost, amen. amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, I believe it's 12 and 11, amen. Now, now, now the manifestation of what? The Spirit is given to every man to what? Profit with us. Oh, yes, amen. God ain't asked me to do this thing by myself. He said, come and just yield to my Holy Ghost. Just surrender to him, praise God. But we read in Acts, the fourth chapter, amen, uh, read verse 31. Verse 31. Uh-huh. And when, he had, when they had prayed, uh -huh. the place was shaken. Read. Where they were assembled uh -huh. together. Uh-huh. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, this is after John and, and, and Peter and them have been released from jail. That's right. right. And they come back and <laughs> among the believers, amen, and they testify to the thing that had happened to them and how God had gave them boldness and they, and they prayed for more boldness, praise God. And the Bible said, praise God, that when they had prayed and the place, praise God, was uh, shaken, uh -huh, where they were assembled together. Come on, read. And they were all filled with the Holy and Ghost. And they was all filled with the Holy Ghost. See, sometimes we, we, you know, we say, well, I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost, but we really don't know what we're saying. Right, right. We think the Holy Ghost just come to make us speak in tongues. Uh, that's right. <laughs> oh, yes, praise God. Well, I, 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 I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I, I, I want to, I wanna, you know, I, I just need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You do need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. But the Holy Ghost do more than make us speak in tongues. Right. That's right. Yeah. Everywhere you read in the Bible where somebody was filled with the Holy Ghost, I challenge you to read on down. Right. You'll find out right. the results right. of being filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah. You'll find out, praise God, that something happened yeah. when the Holy Ghost came up on them, praise God. He empowered them or energized them to do something that ordinary they would not be able to do, praise God. All right, so they the place was shaken, amen. They was praying, and they and then the place was shaken where they was gathered, and the book said they were filled with the Holy Ghost, amen. Now read verse 32. And the multitude of them that believed uh -huh. were of one heart uh -huh. and one soul. See, when we're filled with the Holy Ghost, praise God, we can be one heart and one soul, amen. Right. The reason why there's so much division and amen. so much chaos and, and so much, you know, schism in the body of Christ, amen. Yeah. Somebody ain't being filled with the Holy Ghost, right. amen. Right. Somebody's not being controlled or being right. enlightened or right. being educated by the Holy Ghost, amen. Right. If you put a man here and a man there, and neither one of them is the Holy Ghost, they ain't going to say the same thing. They can't say the same thing. If the Holy Ghost that bring the oneness, amen, we can't bring the oneness. The Holy Ghost bring the oneness. That's why we all got to depend on the Holy Ghost, amen? So it's amazing that they had prayed and the place was shaken and they were... Filled with the Holy Ghost, spake the word of God boldness, and and those believers that were together, all of a sudden there was a union, there was a bond, there was a oneness, praise God. There was a uniting of heart 